And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Okay, so we're around 30 to the low 30s right now. The temperature starts to rise tonight as the wind goes to the southeast. We see rain and a little bit of rain snow mix in the north come in uh, by late tonight and early tomorrow morning, and the wind will begin to really crank up from that southeasterly direction. Uh, of course, and these numbers rising into the mid and even upper 30s. Now tomorrow is kind of an interesting day. Powerful storm begins to race our way. We've got rain and isolated thunder. This is what's the, the kind of the change in the forecast though. First, what hasn't changed is all that wind, of course, because 30 to 40. But I want you to notice south, southeast wind, southeast, but then the wind goes east during the afternoon. Some of the cold air in the Appalachians over in Ohio, Pennsylvania bleeds in from the east and it's quite possible that this rain and isolated thunder could go to rain snow mix and even all snow for a while tomorrow afternoon and it could come down heavy enough to lead to slushy accumulation. Now the other thing is it's quite possible that after five it may go back to rain for a time before it finally goes to all snow and we see a rapid freeze up tomorrow evening. So 37 to 45, we may fall to about 33 to 34, 35 with the, uh, that changeover to wet gloppy snow in the afternoon, It'll rise a little bit in the evening and then we fall into the 20s rapidly later tomorrow evening with the snow gusts 45 to 60 tomorrow night and a few flakes flurry snow shower Saturday with some breaks in the clouds, still a lot of wind, a lot of blowing snow and about 20 to 26 for highs and wind chills around zero to about 10 above. All right, let's dig into future cast. Notice the rain here and kind of a rain snow mix to the north. Eventually we go to all rain area wide come tomorrow morning. All rain, you see it right there. Here we are around 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. But then as some of that cold air comes in from the east, because the wind won't be this blowing this way, it'll kind of turn this way. So a, a brief changeover to all wet snow or at least rain snow mix is expected tomorrow afternoon. But look what happens after five in the evening. After that and any slushy accumulation we get, we go back to rain because the wind goes back to the south southeast. So it warms up a little bit in the evening. But finally, as the center of the low moves right over the top of us like that, the cold air will rush in from the southwest. You see it here and we finally go to just all snow and it blows around tomorrow night. We may have a few power outages with the gust 45 to 60 miles an hour and a lot of liquid from this. A good one to two inches of liquid from the rain and melted snow are expected. So uh, snowfall amounts one to three should do it. Whatever slush we get tomorrow afternoon, whatever powdery drier snow we get tomorrow night. I just went for a one to three Attica, Williamsport, Tab, Flora, Burlington up to Peru and Royal Center in Kentland. I kept the uh, three to six is north expanded them a little bit east. So Rochester, Winnemac, Madaryville, Rensselaer, Morocco, Roselawn area, DeMont, all in the three to six zone. And these are the peak gusts expected uh, for Friday night and very early on Saturday. You notice here 48, 48, 49, 49. This zone kind of 40 to 50 and the rest of the area. Again, you can see a lot of 50 and uh, 55 even 60 mile per hour gusts that may bring a few limbs down and lead to the power outages. And then we see the wind chills drop. Two o'clock on Saturday, there are the wind chills zero to 10. Look at the wind chills Sunday morning, 20 to nearly 30 below zero. And that will also be the case on Monday morning as well. So a few flakes, 11 on Sunday, two below zero for the low Monday morning. And then it's back to the 20s actually with some light snow Thursday from a little clipper system, maybe a uh, an inch or less out of that deal. And then one more shot of colder air comes in next weekend. Lows dropping just a little bit below zero.